Uh, so I've got the Ping, uh, Ping G400, um, not the LST version, which is the lower spinning one. This is the slightly higher spinning, more friendlier option. And uh, it's been in the bag since about June. So um, yeah, I really, really like it. It's the most forgiving um, driver I've ever come across. Uh, for me, historically over the last few years, I've struggled a bit off the tee with my driver. So to, to, have, to have seen the forgiveness that's in this particular club um, has given me more and more confidence and then you know, can build gradually over time. And uh, I just asked the pin guy to make me up a friendly driver. They stuck that shaft in, stuck, stuck it all out and, and I just hit it and I really liked it. Um, I didn't do any testing with it, just, just played with it. And uh, I used that shaft as a kid growing up. So um, I don't know what that says, but you know, maybe there's a bit of a familiarity there going on. And, um, that's probably quite a nice thing. Yes, 100%. You you can't you can't fall in love with a golf club if it doesn't work on the golf course. I swing it. We all swing it. I would dare to say, but certainly myself, we all swing it so differently on the range to what we do on the golf course because targets, wind, pressure, it all determines the way you swing the golf club, and uh, that's where you need to see a golf club react to your fears and your doubts. And what I've really liked about this Ping G400 is that it's done that really well, really nicely. So. Um, haven't seen anything go on the golf course that's bizarre and uh, so therefore I've been able to grow in confidence with the club and that's the secret to building a relationship with the club I think. Yeah so one's a five wood which I'll only use um, well if the course you know I'll either use a two iron or a three iron or a five wood some weeks I'll be a five wood if, if it if there's par five say that I get to but um, the three wood I use a lot um, so this is it's the complete opposite to my, my ping driver um, Callaway made me a three wood at the start of last season when I was really struggling off the two with my driver. I said I wanted something that goes super hot and uh, doesn't really go left. So they built me a 13 degree three wood, uh, put all the weight in the toe, made it really flat on the lie. So I find it very, I find it very difficult to hit that club left, which I like. Um, and it's got no spin. So it's the complete opposite to my driver. Um, but that works really well for me because you know there's some tee shots I stand on and I don't love the wind direction for a driver or I don't love the setup of the hole so I'll pull my three wood out and I can still hit my three wood if I hit it well it can go almost as far as my driver so it's not really a it's not like it's a safety club even it's a safety club but also it, it, it can still go out a good distance so um, I've got good options at the top of the bag finally and uh, I think I'm benefiting from that yeah. this year yeah. shaft's different this is a well this is a Diamana actually um, shows how much I know <laughs> yeah it was a surprise uh, it, it is a slightly different shaft I know that but both Diamanas so um, yeah yeah I stuck that in this year last year I was using the older version um, but that went in this year it's great you know looks feels great like all the Mizunos do and yeah again I don't use that that often I mean I'll use it probably most links links weeks we play but uh, I haven't used the two iron that often this year I would say just because I've used more five woods or I play with four wedges so that definitely takes away options at the top of the bag for me. You know, I either have to drop. I can only really play with a three iron, a two iron, or a five wood. I have to choose one of those three options. So often it's choosing the three iron and going from the three iron to the three wood, or three iron to the five wood, sorry. I don't Am I making any sense no, there? You are. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, actually, I've been playing with 15 clubs all year, so you know, don't, don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> I always hated rescue woods. Uh, because of the way I swing the club, I, you know, I get a little bit steep on it. So I love the long irons because I can flight it down really low. But as I've gotten a bit older and played a bit more out here, I've certainly grown to love a five wood a bit more. Um, they are very recent. I used the uh, the older version. Can't remember the name. Were they 900s? I, they were the 900s, and then I swapped about. I swapped the week before the KLM this year, so um, well, August time, say 2018, and. Um, yeah, I did some testing with Alex and and they they were they were slightly better really on testing. They certainly weren't any worse. The dispersion was good. They flew a little bit higher, which I like because then I can bring the flight down. So I I like to bring the flight down with irons. So therefore, I like the initial flight to be quite high um, so that I can bring it down. That's what I saw a little bit with that. Uh, and I haven't really noticed anything different in terms of. Uh, you know, I know they've moved the sweet spot a fraction more towards the middle of the club. I haven't, I can't say I've picked up on that too much, but um, no, they look beautiful. So, uh, yeah. you know, hey, we're all we're all vanity creatures. You know, we, we go for the look first and foremost, and uh, just hope it performs thereafter, really. So, in the irons, I have the KBS S Taper 130 um, in black. 
because yeah. you know why wouldn't you when they look as cool as that um and the wedges oh, i've got the same in the wedges as well so uh, i didn't have i had the dynamic old x100s i think in the wedges because that was what i used last year so i did a bit of experimentation this year with iron shafts and uh, i've actually i've actually used three different iron shafts now in the last year and a half so last year i had dynamic old x100 start of the year i went to the amts which lifted the spin up a lot more and i could find that i could flight my longer irons higher but then i noticed when i played in some windy conditions the ball was just climbing too much on me so I found these shafts, which I found were, were in between the two. So um, they launched a little higher than the X100s, a little lower than the AMTs, and the spin was quite nice. Having said that, I was a naughty boy last week, and one of my clubs ended up in more than one piece. So I went to Octolones and found a new shaft for my six iron. And uh, I, I played with a KBS C taper, and I hit my best shots last weekend with this club. So I've just told Alex, I said, I want to do some testing with this. And he's since told me that it's got the, um, the counterbalance feature to it, which last year I had in an old driver, which again ended up in more than one piece, believe it or not. But before it ended up in two pieces, I loved it. So I'm going to do some testing. I, I needed, well, obviously I had the Saturday to play without a six iron. And I figured the last thing I want to do is get on the road hole, be on the cut line, be a six iron in, not be able to hit the shot, make bogey miss the cut. That would just be, you know, so I didn't want to have to end up with that eventuality. So I went and got it reshafted and they stuck that in which wasn't identical first shot I hit with it was on the 11th on a Saturday at Can up St Andrews par 3 into I, I pitched it out far from the hole made birdie hit some lovely shots with it actually and I didn't hit my irons very well last week apart from the 6 irons so it's in my mind a bit now so yeah, uh, I'm going to do some testing today and you never know I mean by the time this interview goes out well I could be with 8 or 9 different shafts going on in, from across the bag you know <laughs> who knows so usually I go uh, so pitching wedge 51 degrees 55 degrees and 59 degrees so four wedges i like to play with four wedges um gives me loads of options you know it basically means that i've never i've never got a yardage inside 140 yards that i'm uncomfortable with so um because i don't go for that many par fives it means i can still score very well on the par fives and if i'm ever out of position on a par four you know you, rather than take on the crazy shot you can you can lay up give yourself a number and have the opportunity to wedge it closer so Four wedges helped me on that front, and the the, the actual they are the uh, the T7s I believe. Um, got the rusted versions in, which uh, which which would be great. Love to see a club rust over time, and um, I also have a spare 53 degree wedge just in case. For example, last week at the Dunhill Links, if there had been a really windy day where we were at St Andrews and there wouldn't have been many wedges, I would have played with three wedges to give me more options at the top but that would be purely course and weather dependent and it would have to be quite extreme conditions for me to consider doing that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I can't even, you know, there's not even been a handful of rounds in the last 12 months where I've played with three wedges. I'm almost always playing with four, so. So yeah. Putter, I've got uh, a Betonardi, which um, studio stock number eight. I was actually store bought. Um, I've bought about four Betanardi putters. There's a place close to me where I live that I've gone and bought a few putters and um, sits really nice. It's kind of one of those putters I've gone back to. I won in Qatar with it. I've had all my, probably all my best results have been with that putter. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. I mean, it's, well, it isn't. It's something I've always longed for, but not used. So I started using face balance putters Year, a few years ago under the impression that obviously it had less face rotation however when I started doing some testing with this putter compared to face balance putters I found I found that there was actually less face rotation with this style of putter and it got me thinking and I think it's to do with the fact that there's less weight in the head certainly at the back of the, of the head so that actually the gravity pulls less on it um, Bryson DeChambeau would be able to explain all this, I'm sure, better than me. But it was interesting because, you know, it made me realise, well, actually, no, you can have a toe hang putter when you hang it here, say, and a face balance one. So you would think, oh, the toe hang will rotate more. But actually, when you put it into posture and gravity acts as the number one force, obviously, it, the more weight you have, the more it pulls it open. So what I found is actually having this putter has less face rotation, so it's perfect for me because I can see a part that I love and also it can perform effectively better because it's got less face rotation, which is something that I look for because I don't want much, much rotation going on. Well, it's just, yeah, I don't, it, you want the natural arc and you want the face not doing anything crazy to that arc, right? So that part seems to do that pretty well. So um, yeah, I, 
I like it, really. I do, yeah.